Hello, Sims. How's everything going? Oh, lovely. The shop's doing lovely. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Harris? Yes, she's had stomachache all the week. Good. <laughs> well, how's things with you? Had a good holiday? Oh, just the usual eating, bathing and sleeping. I really don't know why I continue to go on holidays, Sims. They're never adventurous. Just the inevitable sort of people and happenings. Unexciting, like myself. Eh? Right? Oh. Man is an irrational animal, Sims, persisting to hope for what his reason has proven is non-existent. And... Uh, well. Trouble with your holidays, Governor, is you don't choose the hectic places. Now, when I was in Blackpool... Yes, I know, I know, you told me that before. I always said you ought to marry that girl, you know. Ah, oh, well, you see, yes, Governor. Yes, you also tell me your excuses. Oh. Here, let me take her. No, that's all right, Governor. Here, you take the camera. Camera? I didn't take a camera with me. Well, you brought one back with you, any road. The hotel people must have put this in the car erroneously. Oh, it's a good one, too. Pentac 29. Hmm. I wonder who the owner is. He must be missing this pretty badly. Is it loaded? Yeah. The film pack. Five exposures taken. Oh. Why not develop the film? Might give you a clue. Well, I hardly care to pry into other people's affairs in that fashion. It's, uh, it's like opening letters. It just isn't done. <laughs> oh, isn't it? You'd say differently if you was married. <laughs> Besides, how are you going to find the owner if you don't develop the film? Well, I, I think I might develop one exposure and see if that puts us on the track. Seems logical enough. Now, we can't try the last exposure. I say, look out, this film's uncovered. Oh. Sorry, Governor. Well, how's everything? I wonder who that is. A bit late for customers. Oh, probably the Hopkinson's baby swallowed another watch, or old Mother Abbott thinks she's got a paint. Mind the light from that door. Well, that's odd. Oh, so it's you, is it, you little blighter? What do you mean ringing my doorbell and running away? I didn't do anything, mister. I swear I didn't ring your doorbell. Yes, you did ring my doorbell. I heard you ring my yeah, doorbell. Yeah, and, uh, lay off. What are you doing to my little elf? Huh, well, I'm uh, sorry, I've made a mistake. I'm sorry. Oh. And so you should be. Come on, Alfie, dear. A sauce. <laughs> yeah, nice woman, that. Nobody there. One of them brats from the mews, I expect. Well, how's clues? Oh, I don't suppose we'll get much out of this. Probably a family group on the beach. You know, proud parents and vacuous progeny. <laughs> well, that ought to be developed sufficient. Bless my soul. Sims, come here. Tell me what you think of that. Blimey, if it's them kids again, I'll break their blooming necks. Extraordinary. Most extraordinary. Oi, Governor. Yes? Come here, will you? There's something rummy going on. <laughs> you wait. I'll show you something rummy. There's nobody here again, Governor. Well, you look that way and I'll look this.
See anything, Governor? No. The more did I. What? Why, how, how very extraordinary. The camera's gone too. Oh, come off it. You must have put it down somewhere else. That window, Sims. I distinctly remember closing it and pulling down the blind. Somebody's been in here during our absence. Well, I'll be... That bell. Do you think that was a ruse to try and get us out of the room? Well, a bloke could hardly go to that much trouble to steal a camera. It wasn't only the camera, Sims. The negative. I'm confident that was a photograph of a murder. Murder? Blimey. Definitely. One man stabbing another. Under the circumstances, I feel fully justified in developing the remaining negatives. Now for it, here's adventure with a vengeance. Oh, but this is absurd. We're beginning to talk like characters in a mystery melodrama. I've no doubt we'll find some perfectly mundane explanation. Nothing very really palpitating in those, as you might say. Hello. There's a woman turned up in it. Wonder what she looked like. Oh, golden hair and large, lustrous eyes. A ravishing creature, my dear Sims. The heroine of a mystery drama is always a ravishing creature. It's truth, she's all of that. <laughs> you struck lucky this time, Governor. You know, I'd like to find out who this young lady is. Blimey, who wouldn't? No, 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 don't mistake me, Sims, don't mistake me. I'm actuated solely by a desire to return that camera to its rightful owner. It's the principle of the thing. Oh, of course. The principle of the thing. Yes, but how... Hello. Bring me the magnifying glass, will you? <laughs> I believe I can see the name of the street. If you take my tip, Governor, you'll pop along there at once. Hmm? Yes. Yes, perhaps you're right. Of course you ought to. You know, just for the principle of the thing. <laughs> 17 Mills Street. Hmm. Still, I, I don't know that I shall go. It might very likely prove abortive. No, on second thoughts, I definitely shall not go. Well? Oh, uh, good afternoon. Uh, can you tell me if this young lady li lives here? There ain't no young lady lives here, except me. Oh, uh, but uh, this is number 17 Mill Street, isn't it? I suppose it is, but there are other Mill Streets in London beside this. One in Islington. Oh, oh, is there? Oh, well, thank you very much. I, I'll try that. Oh, excuse me. Um, is there a young person of that description here? No, she ain't been brought in yet, sir. But come in and give the others the once over, if you like. This is the mortuary. Oh, oh, but, but it's number 17 Mill Street. Try Mill Street tooting. Oh, I, I beg your pardon. I'm so... No, but don't worry. There's plenty better inside. Just pop in for a moment. Oh, uh, thanks very much, but I'm afraid I've got to catch a train. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Uh, uh, can you tell me if there's anybody at home? Nah. Ugly day. Ah, hmm. Well, uh, does this convey anything to you? Nah. Nah. Nah, I was afraid it wouldn't. Well, thank goodness there aren't any more mill streets. I've ascertained that from the police. Right. Well, I Hello, Amelia. Oh, excuse me. Eureka! I beg your pardon? Oh, uh, forgive me for manifesting a certain excitement at um, having run you to earth at last. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you see, I've, um, I've been searching all over London for you. Really? You have, have you? It's a pity I've never had the pleasure of meeting you before. Uh, quite, but you see, I, I've got um, I've got some um, uh, photographs here I'd, I'd like to show you. Now listen, if you try selling me any of those things, I'll shout for the police. This is London, not Paris. Why? Oh, that's me. Yes. Oh, how 
did you get it? Well, that's what I wanted to explain. You see, I found a camera lying in the back of my car, and the only way to trace the rightful owner was by developing the films. Oh, I see. Well, well come in, won't you? Oh, thanks very much. You'd better come into my brother's room. You'll have to excuse me if it's in a bit of a mess. Oh, that's quite all right. Sorry I sounded a bit nippy just now, but a girl's got to be so careful nowadays. So many bounders about, men you've never set eyes on before. Plain tickle toe in the bus, you know. Why, I can't say I do, really. You see, I've never actually played uh, a tickle toe, although I imagine it's a game that might have embarrassing effects on a novice. Oh, uh, uh, quite. But about the photographs, may I see the camera? I think it must be my brother's. Well, you see, the camera's been stolen, together with one of the negatives. Stolen? Yes. The whole thing was most extraordinary. Why, but the last time I saw him, he Who? was... Who? Uh, my brother, Ernest. He was... Well, I don't know whether I ought to tell you. After all, I've only just met you. Yeah, uh, true, yes. But uh, I hope you will accept my sincere assurance that any confidences imparted to me would be held um, uh, inviolate. <laughs> You're funny, aren't you? Am I? I don't know that I've ever been considered particularly humorous. I should think I err rather on the side of solemnity, almost morbidity. See, there you go again. Do you always talk that way? I don't know. I suppose I do. You know, I don't think I've ever met anyone quite like you before. Well, if it comes to that, I don't think I've ever met anyone quite like you. Well, that makes us appear, doesn't it? <laughs> quite. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well, I don't know what to make of you, but you seem quite harmless anyway. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're, you're welcome. Then you, you will confide in me. Well, the last time I saw my brother was on Saturday, before he was going for a hike. I was in my bedroom, just straightening up. I say, May? Yes? Where did you put my walking shoes? In the cupboard where they belong. Damn it, why will people hide things? Where in the cupboard? All right, don't pull the place to pieces. I'll come and get them for you. Wait a moment. Oh, I do look a mess. I can't see them anywhere. Wait a minute. Here you are, dear. If you men had the jobs of tidying up the rooms, you wouldn't make them into such a mess. It's your tidying up that makes me lose things. Why can't you leave everything where I put it? For the simple reason, my dear boy, it doesn't do shoes any good to be left in the coal scuttle. the handkerchiefs. Oh, all right, I'll show you. There we are. Thanks. Why, Ernest, where are you going? Oh, uh, just, just for a walk in the country. Oh. I'm going to see if I can get some good snaps. There's a competition at the club. I do. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, thanks. You know, I often wonder why they let an absent-minded man like you work in a jeweler's shop. You know, one day you'll put the cat in the safe and throw the diamonds out in the yard. Oh, shut up about the jeweler's shop, will you? All right, keep your hair on. What's the matter? Sorry, but I... I hate talking shop on my afternoons off. Hmm. All right, dear. Goodbye. Good luck with the snacks, and don't be back home late. Thanks. Here, wait a moment. I'll take you to the other side. All right. Hold it. Still. Watch for the diggy birds. Well, I naturally expected him back for supper, but he didn't turn up. And I haven't heard anything from him since. But didn't he say where he was going? 
No, just for a walk and to take some snaps. Yes, but look, these photographs. Don't you recognize any of these places? No. Well, they must give us some clue somewhere. Hello, what's this? The Red Lion. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm afraid there's more than one public house of that name in England. What have we got here? Oh, look. You can see the name of the line. Oh, yes. If only we could tell which branch it is. You know, I'm rather beginning to fancy myself as a detective. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Look, there's the number of the train. Have you got a telephone book? Yes. Here we are. Thank you. Excuse me, baby. Oh, come in, Amelia. There's a man to see Mr. Ernest. A man? Well, what does he want? Oh, I don't know. Well, what does he look like? Well, he's got brown shoes and a net. Oh, he's quite a gentleman. Oh, well, tell him I'll be out, Amelia. All right. Will you excuse me a moment? Oh, yes, yes, certainly. The young lady says as what is how she'll see you. All right. Take your hat off. I said you was a gent. You want to see my brother Ernest? Oh. So you're Mr. Elton's sister, are you? Yes. Well, Miss Elton, I'm a police officer. Police? Well, what do you want? Haven't you any idea? No. I don't know what you mean. Why are you so alarmed? We only want to know where your brother is. Well, I wish I could tell you. But I haven't seen him since he went away on Saturday. Went away? Yes, he went hiking and took his camera. Are you aware a robbery has occurred at Messrs. Manton and Edge, the jewellers, where your brother was employed? No, certainly not. You and he live here together, don't you? Yes. Alone? Well, you see, mother and father are dead. So, uh... I suppose you know a lot about his business. You were in one another's confidence, weren't you? Well, we're, we're great pals. And yet he hasn't communicated with you in any way since you last saw him? No. Now, look here, Miss Elton. I'm afraid you're not being frank with me. I'd better tell you now there's strong evidence that your brother was implicated in this affair. And if you and he... Oh, but that's impossible. When the diamond was stolen, he was... How did you know it was a diamond? Hello. Hello, is that the inquiry office? Yeah. No, 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 I, 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 I haven't lost a load of anything. I want to make inquiries about a branch line. Are you sure that's all you know? Yes, yes, really. Well, as a matter of fact, we happen to know that your brother wasn't here anyway. I'll be getting along now, Miss Elton. But you and he had better hold yourselves available when he returns. We shall want to ask you one or two questions more. Good day. Th thank you very much. Goodbye. Oh, there you are. Well, I found out it's the Mirfield branch line. Now, there's a road running close along the railway line, so if we hop into my car, we'll have no difficulty in finding the spot. Now, your brother couldn't have walked more than 10 or 15 miles. Uh, no, really, I couldn't put you to so much trouble. Oh, it's no trouble, I assure you. <laughs> Well, uh, he might turn up tonight. I'll wait. All right. All right, you wait here, but I shall definitely go. Now that I've started on what the Americans so happily term the uh, detective racket, <laughs> uh, I, uh, nothing will prevent my tracking the criminal to his lair. Goodbye. No, wait. In that case, I'll come too. Oh, splendid. Well, we'll have no difficulty in tracing him. Now, in that photograph, there was a sharp curve in the railway line. There we are, look. Telegraph poles on the left. There we are. Did you see that? Yes. I'd like to report him, the crazy fool, following us so close. You'll be lucky if he doesn't report you stopping the way you did without warning. Well, anyway, this would definitely appear to be the place. Let's call to that farm over there and ask about the photographs. You know, those places must be somewhere near here.
Let's see if there's somebody through there. Anybody at home? Hello there. Anybody there? All right, sir. I'm coming. Uh, do you belong to this place? No, sir. This place belonged to me before I got married. Uh, no, no, what I meant was, um, are you resident here? I man and boy for these last 60 years. Well, that's good enough for me. Perhaps you can give me some information. Well, if there's anything about pigs, you come to the right man. I've been breeding pigs, man and boy, for these last 60 years. Isn't she a beauty? Uh, yes, yes, she's uh, charming. But I, I, I didn't want to talk to you about pigs. I wanted you to see these photographs in case you recognize any of these places. They must be quite near here. Ah. Yes? No. Oh. I thought at first we're all Buggins Orchard, but there ain't no cesspool. Cesspool? No, but, but, but surely those places are within walking distance of here. No, sir. I know every bit of ground round about here for 15 miles. No, sir. Oh. Well, um, thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. You know, I can't understand it. I'm sure we stopped at the right place by the railway. Well, you heard what the old man said, and he ought to know. What was it? Oh, he's been here man and boy for 60 years. for the ride. Now do we go home? No, 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 no. Of course not. This must be the place. Now let me see. Yes, that's right. There's the railway line and there's the road. It's all just like this. Now then, let's find out the exact position where your brother took the photograph from to make doubly sure. Uh, well, over to the right. No, no, no. That telegraph pole's all wrong. Still further to the right. I wasn't walking. He was on a train when he took that picture. Look, you see how sharp the bend in the line is? He must have photographed the front part of his own train. Well, that means that the other snaps of the inn and the ruins may be 50 miles from here. Oh. Now, where's that timetable? Here we are. Now, let's see where this train stops. Perhaps Muirfield. Well, this must be the inn of the photograph, probably taken from that draper's shop over there. I'll go to the inn and ask if they saw him. Uh, no, no, please. Why, what's the matter? You go to the draper's shop. Uh, you'll probably have to knock them up and, and I'll go to the inn. Oh, all right. Well? Uh, excuse me. 
Could you give me some information? A friend of mine took a photograph of this inn. He said he took it here last Saturday. Uh, do you remember anyone coming here then? Well, supposing I did. Oh, then my brother was here. So? It was your brother, was it? Yes. Taking photographs. Well, have I said before, I won't have anybody taking photographs of my inn. I'm sorry I cannot help you, but you see, we was closed on Saturday. The old man's funeral, you know. Oh, I see. Grand funeral it was, too. Four carriages. Oh, splendid. And I mean, I'm so sorry. And Goodbye. the town band. Any luck? Uh, no, the landlord said he didn't see anyone. Oh, Lord, we seem to have come to a deadlock, don't we? I don't know which way to turn. I don't think there's much use our going on any further. I think we'd better turn back. No, no, I will not acknowledge defeat. Now, according to the most rudimentary logic, your brother must have been here to photograph this inn, mustn't he? Uh, yes. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll put up here for the night, and I'll endeavour to get on the train again tomorrow. Oh, but... That's all right. Now, I'll run you down to the station, and there's sure to be another train back to London tonight. No, stop. Wait. In that case, I'll come too. Will you really? Yes. Well, I say, that'll be splendid. This is becoming a genuine adventure. It was open before. Oh, um, uh, good evening. Oh, back again, eh? Uh, could you, uh, could you accommodate us for the night? Come in. So you want to put up here? Uh, yes. All right. Will you and your wife come this way? Uh, yes, but you don't understand. She's, she's not. Uh, that is, I mean, I mean, I mean, she's... She... That's all right. What? You'll have a quiet night here. Nothing to disturb you. Well, will this suit you? Well, it's, um, it's a nice room. A very nice room. Oh. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, could, could, could you manage to let us have two, um, uh, two single rooms? Will you come this way? I'll be glad to give you a separate room. Oh, thank you. I'll get your luggage up. Oh, I'm afraid we haven't got any luggage. No luggage, eh? Um, uh, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid not. I, I'll go and put the car away. No. You two wait here. I'll see the car's taken care of. Come in. You know, I can't stand this place. It gives me the creeps. Oh, I expect your nerves are a bit upset. You'll feel much better after a good night's rest. Well, I, I guess so. Well, good night, and thanks a heap. Oh, uh, 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 good night. Good night. Uh, well, uh, good night. <laughs>
What was? What was? A man. He was here in my room. A man? What, 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 what did he look like? I don't know. I, I was so frightened, I shut my eyes. And when I opened them again, he was going out of the window. Oh, it's all right. No, 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 no. Yeah. Calm, calm yourself. Calm yourself. Now, calm. Keep calm. Keep calm. It'll be all right now. Now, wait. Wait. <laughs> Well, there's no one there now, anyhow. Oh, well, where are you going? Well, don't be alarmed. I shan't be long. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't leave me alone. Oh, you'll be all right. Oh. Don't worry, but I shall... Oh, no. Yeah? Yes? Anything wrong? I thought I heard a scream. Oh, yes, we're all right. But... Uh... You know, I really think I ought to be getting back. Oh, no, no, no. I'm so scared. Uh, please don't go back, because I shan't go to sleep again tonight. I don't want to be left alone. But I, I can't stay here. It would be most unconventional. Oh, oh, please. Well, you can't go. No. Yes, but, um, but think of your reputation. Oh, hang my reputation. But I couldn't have another scare like that, honestly. I couldn't. Oh, there, there. It was just a figment of your imagination. Uh, probably the aftermath of a nightmare. No, it wasn't. Oh, do stay. Well, I... Oh, very well. Of course, it's very selfish of me. It must be terribly tiring for you. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's not in the least tiring. On the contrary, I find it excessively stimulating. Oh, change them. Oh, that's all right, Lennon. Oh, thanks. Tell me, are you sure that you didn't see a young fellow here last Saturday with a camera? Well, of course I did. Like I told your wife, the uh, young lady. You told the young lady that you'd seen someone? Yes. A young fellow who asked the way to Norman Arches. Norman Arches? Yes, the photograph she showed me. The ruins, John. So she... Uh, tell me, uh, which is the way to get there? Well, just across the fields, yonder. Oh. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. That's quite all right. Uh, have you got the car? Uh, no. I'm going to leave the car here while we endeavour to pick up some clues on foot. Well, uh, I think I'd better be going back to town. Oh, no, that's all right. It won't take long. Besides, a little walk will do you good. Good day, landlord. Good day, sir. use in our going any further. I'm sure we're on the wrong track. No, no, I'm confident we're right. Come on. Let me lift you over. No. I'll squeeze underneath. But I can assure you it's much more difficult that way. Come on. No, I'm... I'm going back. Excuse me, but what have you got in your hand? Nothing. Well, I'm, I'm very sorry to have to do this, but I saw you pick something up. Please forgive me. Please. Please. Well, that was very unfair of you. Why unfair? Well, you're, you're taking advantage of your sex to put me in a very embarrassing position. Well, it's lost, isn't it? Very well, then. Even at the risk of violating your modesty, I shall, I shall have to get it myself. You wouldn't. Wouldn't I? You see, I happen to know. Know what? Well, that you... you lied to me about what the innkeeper said. He did see your brother. Oh. But if you knew, you'd understand. But won't you trust me enough to tell me? Well, that man who came and saw me yesterday was a detective. They suspect my brother of being implicated in a, in a jewel robbery at the store where he works. But surely you don't believe your brother guilty? No, of course not. Circumstantial evidence and... I was afraid to let you discover too much. But we must go on together. I, I don't want to alarm you, but that photograph that was stolen was of a desperate struggle between two men. Then perhaps he's hurt. Or perhaps he's even... No, 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 no. Of course not. Come, come. There's no use in anticipating the worst. That photograph. Where was it taken? Well, I've got an idea. It's very likely those ruins over there. Come on, let's see.
Oh, this place gives me the Jim Jam. Yes. It's hardly what you'd call a salubrious atmosphere. You know, it seems strangely familiar. Why, of course, I, I, I drove along that road. I say we are getting hot on the scent, aren't we? I say, come and look at this. What was the matter? I don't wish to appear melodramatic, but I think those are bloodstains. What? Now, if a body had been dragged down here... Oh, you don't think it could be my brother? No. No, of course not. Oh, no, wait. Don't leave me alone. Now, I'll feel along this wall. John? Yes? John, where are you? John? It's all right, I'm here. What's the matter? I don't know, John. I've just tripped over something. I hope it's not. Oh, you don't think it's my... Oh. No. Poor devil. I wonder who it is. That photograph. Then it was... Murder. Murder? Murder. In for Mother. You for Uncle. After it. He for Dover. He for Easter. Murder! Murder is suspected by the local police in connection with the discovery of a body in the ruins known as Norman Arches, a few miles from Muirfield, Surrey. The deceased has been identified as Bill Symes, a notorious criminal well known to the police and believed to have been implicated in the recent jewel robbery at a well-known firm of West End jewellers. The police are anxious to interview Ernest Elton in connection with this matter and anyone who can give information as to his whereabouts is requested to communicate with Scotland Yard, telephone number Whitehall 1212, or with any police station. His description is as follows. Age 20, of small stature, fair complexion, brown eyes. When last seen, he was wearing grey flannel trousers, brown sports jacket. Carrying a Macintosh and a Delmare camera. That's your man. Now get it.
Before we continue this case, I should like to recall to your mind several points in connection with the testimony of Ernest Elton, whom you see again before you in the box. Mr. Elton testified that he was in no way connected with the crime and was in fact at no time in the vicinity where the body of the deceased was found. But I must point out that we've had substantial testimony to the contrary from several convincing witnesses in refutation of which Mr. Elton has not produced one iota of tangible evidence. Ernest Elton, in view of the weight of the testimony against your own, I most solemnly ask you if you wish to modify your previous statements, that you have no knowledge of the robbery or of the deceased and were never in the vicinity of the latter. No, sir. I have nothing to change. Despite the fact that under cross-examination, your sister, May Elton, admitted that subsequent to the robbery at your employers, you showed marked nervousness at any mention of your activities there? No, sir. I haven't anything to change. And despite the fact that the domestic servant at the house where you reside, Amelia Wilkinson, testified that you left home on Saturday last with a camera in your possession? No, sir. No, I didn't take a camera. And despite the testimony of John Gray, that certain photographs alleged to have been taken by you led directly to the discovery of the body? No, sir, they weren't my photographs. And despite the statement of Barnaby Rudd, the innkeeper, that he directed you to the ruins where the deceased was found? No, I tell you, I was never there. And despite the finding of your handkerchief within half a mile of the body, No, I wasn't there. And despite the finding on the dead man's Macintosh of your footprint? No. No. Ernest Elton, do you realize that on the verdict of this jury may depend your life? Do you realize that you are under grave suspicion? Suspicion? Of murder? Have you nothing else to say? Yes, yes. I was there. Ernie, stop! Don't be a fool. Stop. stop. I object to the court's remark. Order! I object. I demand the judgment. My client is in no position to give evidence. Order! Order in court! Order, please! I see no reason for an adjournment unless the witness himself desires it. No, no. No, I'll tell you. I want to. I can't bear this any longer. I did help to steal the diamond. I told him the combination. Then I was sorry. I wanted to get it back. I went to the ruins. I knew they were meeting there. I knew no one would believe me unless I could show who did it. Something besides my word. I took my camera. I set it up. I fixed the price, and that's that. You can take it or leave it. Have you fixed it, have you? Yes, I fixed it. There's no use you starting to grass again. Well, where do I come in? I've told you. It's all settled. Yes, yes, but how am I going to... Oh, shut up, will you? I tell you, it's all settled. But that's less than half what you promised for the diamond. Oh, stop whining. If you don't like it, you're going to get out, eh? Well, I'm getting it. Here, stop. Let go of me. Come back here. Who's there?
After that, I, I suppose I must have lost my head. I hid until... Well, you know the rest. And you're asking the jury to believe that this fantastic story is the truth? Yes, it's the truth. I object to the court's remark. In the circumstances, we consider the word fantastic a very moderate adjective. You may stand down, please. But I swear that everything I've said is the truth. That will be all. But I... Order! Stand down! But you must believe me. Find that photograph. That's all I ask. Find that photograph and you'll see that everything I've said is the truth. It's true. I saw that photograph myself. No. I insist upon going to this witness box to give some evidence. This boy's not being given a chance. It's not fair. Oh, Mr. Coroner, I appeal to you. If that gentleman over there making those extraordinary gestures wishes to add to his previous testimony, he may return to the witness stand. I tell you, I saw that photograph of the murder. I developed the negative myself. Yes, but being merely a negative, you couldn't possibly distinguish the features of the two men whom you say were disclosed thereon? No, that's true. So that for all you know, one of them might very well have been Elton himself. But surely it's too fantastic to suppose that... No more fantastic, surely, than Elton's statement. Nor, I may say, than your own, Mr. Gray, about the missing negative. If indeed the word any such negative. Are you implying that I'm not telling the truth? Mr. Gray. Very well, then, if you consider my testimony fantastic. There's my assistant. He doesn't look exactly fantastic, does he? Really, it lies neither within the province nor the interest of this court to conjecture as to the nature of the gentleman referred to by witness. But if this gentleman has any pertinent evidence to submit to the court, I have no objection to his coming forward to testify. It's all right, Governor. I'll give him what for. <laughs> Silence. You will answer my questions, please. Well, out of blades, can I answer your questions if you want me to be silent? <laughs> silent in court! Your name is Albert Sims, and you are employed by Mr. Gray as an assistant in his shop? That's right. He's a pal as well, you know. No upstage stuff about him. No doubt. But what we want to know is, did you see the missing camera? Oh, yes. And did you see the missing negative? Well, yes. In a way, I did. And then again, in a way, I didn't. Answer the question clearly, please. Did you see the missing photograph? Well, I know there was a photograph, if that's what you mean. How do you know? Well, ain't the governor said so? That is not evidence. Here, are you suggesting the governor's an holy friar? A what? A ruddy liar. Quiet, <laughs> <laughs> right, please. If, if, if I have any more of those remarks from you, I'll have you turned out of court. Well, that suits me, all right. It's about opening time now. If your evidence were not of importance, I would have you removed. As it is, I shall be under the painful necessity of questioning you further. Well, why don't you fire away? What are you wasting me time for? Now, will you answer me clearly, sir? Did you or did you not see the missing negative? Well, er... Uh... Now. That is all. You may stand down. All right. Have it your own way. Well, members of the jury, you've heard the evidence, and it is for you to determine how the deceased met his death. Three verdicts are open to you. Death by accident, suicide, or murder. If you decide that it is murder, it is open to you to say by whose hand. And in this connection, I am compelled to draw your attention to the weight of evidence against Ernest Elton. Confronted with the testimony of several other witnesses, after repeated denials, Mr. Elton finally admitted connivance in the jewel theft which appears to have supplied the motive for the death we are investigating. Mr. Elton also admitted his presence at the place where the body was found. Members of the jury, have you arrived at a verdict? We have. What is your verdict? Willful murder against Ernest Elton.
To think that he might never have been arrested if I hadn't done a lot of stupid amateur detective work. No, no, that isn't fair to you. The only thing we can do now is to think how we can help him. Yes, but it's so, it's so terrible to have to stand by helpless while time gets shorter. Why? You don't really think no, that... No, 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 of course not. No. Don't worry. Tell me the truth. What do you honestly think? Well, honestly, if I hadn't seen that film myself, I should have had great difficulty in believing your brother's story. Oh. Oh. oh I say, now, please, please, don't cry. Don't cry, please. I mean, I... Uh, uh, here, blow. <laughs> uh, there, there, now, uh, Sims. Sims, uh, come here, will you? <laughs> okay, Governor. There, there, now, now, you'll be all right now. I'll get you a nice, strong drink of water uh, with some um, aromatic spirit of ammonia. Ah, oh, there you are at last. Where on earth have you been all this time? I've been filling in my football coupons, sir. Coupons, Sims, coupons. Oh. Now, Miss Elton badly needs a rest, so I want you to escort her home. Yes. There we are. No, she don't want that. <laughs> you come with me, miss. I'll mix you a nice hot cup of tea. You know, if only we could find that missing negative, I'm certain we'd get the murderer. Well, if there's anything I can do, I won't go. No, no, I, I, I want to stay here alone and think it all out. I've got it, yes. Well, if you find the missing photograph... Yes. ...you'd have the murderer, wouldn't you? Yes, well... Well, therefore, if you find the murderer... Yes. ...you'd have the missing photograph. Yeah. Oh, don't be a bl uh, blithering idiot. Well, it's logical, isn't it? Well, good night. Good night. Oh, uh, your handkerchief. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks awfully. Good night. Come along, miss. You leave it to the governor. He's much better than he sounds. Good night. Good night. Now, if only I could reconstruct exactly what happened. Let's see. That light was off. Now, standing here, switched on the developing light, open pack, others in drawer, put the negative in the hypo, and the doorbell rang. Good evening. Sorry to trouble you so late, sir, but I'm a police officer. Oh. And I've got a warrant to search this house. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you've come. Uh, come in, will you? Because I've just been essaying the role of detective myself. Yeah. Any luck? I'm afraid not. I hope yours was better. Well, we'll soon see. Now, which is the room where the missing camera and negative was last seen? I'll show you. Come in, will you? This is the room. Now, I was developing the negative on that bench, and I left it in the hypo here. Did you notice anything unusual when you came back? Yes, that window was open, and I distinctly remember closing it before I started developing. Have you got a magnifying glass anywhere? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll get you one. There's been a struggle here. Hello. There's a thread of material caught on that nail. Yes, yes. Now, what would have made him struggle? Of course, the sash fell down just as he was trying to get out. I say, now we're getting somewhere. Now, suppose the sash fell down and he couldn't get the camera out and he heard you coming back. Yes. What would he have done? Well, I... I well, do, do, do you suppose he, he hid it somewhere in here, within arm's length? That's an idea. Now, we'll look on each side. Right. Why, here it is. By Jove, you've done it. 
Why, this clears up everything. I wonder if the film... Here, don't touch that, sir. The police will want to test it for fingerprints. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> what a load off my mind. But how on earth did you come to work it all out so quickly? Oh, uh, just following the usual routine, sir. We get used to it. Yes, but tell me, how did you get the idea so quickly? I mean about the, um, the, the, the sash falling. Oh, I uh, tried it while you were out looking for the magnifying glass. Oh. It was loose. But, 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 but that, that window was mended yesterday. Oh, we have our method, sir. Just a minute, please. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I shall have to ask you to show me your, your, your search warrant. Get out of the way, young fella. Don't, don't be a damn fool. I've got to hurry back to the yard. Let me see that warrant. Oh, all right. Ah, here it is. Oh! You've, uh, you've broken my glasses. D for Dover. D for Dover. I for India. In for no one. Reading. Has resulted in a sudden denouement to what has come to be known as the ghost camera case. What hitherto has baffled the police has now been elucidated by the murderer's confession, in which he states that he saw the number plate on Mr. Gray's car, into which the camera had been thrown, as it was passing the scene of the crime and so was enabled to trace the camera to Mr. Gray's address. With the discovery of the stolen jewel in the camera, all charges against Ernest Elton have been dropped. We are happy to say that this rather grim case is to end on a note of romance. They're not going to tell nobody where their animal is, because they want a quiet place, somewhere where nothing happens. <laughs> now off it, everyone. Yes, yes, sir. Excuse yes, me. Off. Thank you. I say, is that the famous ghost camera? Yes. What do you think it is, a mouse trap? <laughs> I'll take a picture of you snapping the happy couple, see? Now, come along, make it nice and fresh, please. <laughs> now, you snap them and I'll snap the lot, see? All right. Hold it still. Just a little longer, please. Just a little longer, please. I can't. Oh! That spoiled the picture. 